I have been carnivore for a year and a half, and so during that time I've eaten nothing but meat, eggs, and sometimes a little bit of dairy. People ask me all the time, what do you miss the most, Jen? What foods are you really missing out on? And my number one answer is toast with my over easy eggs. I just loved dipping my toast in the yolks and eating it like a savage. Well, today we're gonna try to recreate that a little bit. Hi, I'm Jen. If you're new here, I am delighted to meet you. I am a doctor of physical therapy and I've been on a carnivore diet, like I said, for a year and a half. I've experienced radical healing during that time and there is nothing that I want more than for you to be able to do the same. Join me today as we make some carnivore bread. You heard that right, it's legit bread. Now I wanna start off by saying this is not my recipe. I got this from someone on Instagram and I'll be sure to tag her in the caption. That way if you wanna see more of her recipes and creations, you can do that. For now, you can follow along and make this bread for yourself. It's pretty delicious and a decent substitute for toast, which is, like I said, something that I missed a lot. Let's go. We're gonna use just a few simple and clean ingredients for this recipe. All you need is eggs, carnivore crisps flour, salt, tallow, and baking soda. Add in three egg yolks, four whole eggs, one quarter cup of carnivore crisps beef flour, one third cup of carnivore crisps chicken flour, two tablespoons of tallow, a fourth teaspoon of salt, and a half teaspoon of baking powder. Then you wanna blend until fully combined, which I'm going to use my Nutribullet, but you could use a blender or simply a mixing bowl and a whisk. Nope, still not for you. I pour it directly into a silicone bread pan. I did not bother adding any butter or other fat directly to the pan because it doesn't tend to stick, but you could if you wanted. I simply pour the liquid batter right into the pan and place it in a 350 degree oven for about 22 minutes. This is how it looks when it's done. The top is golden brown and has some cracks and the edges are beginning to pull away from the pan. I use a serrated knife to cut it so it doesn't get smooshed. And look how bread-like it is. It's soft and spongy and very close to the consistency of bread. It is much more dense than regular bread though and very high in protein, so it's hard to eat a lot of it at one time. The amount of ingredients that I used resulted in a pretty short loaf, so next time I think I'll double the recipe so my bread is more like the size of sandwich slices. I just toasted it a bit, added some butter, and then dug into my runny yolks with it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and let me know in the comments if you try this. I want to hear what you think. I know this video is really short, but if you found it helpful, please like and subscribe, and catch me on Instagram where we can connect every day.